What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to EDRP and ooh look at that, there's Crown Vic over there. Someone's retired Crown Vic, that is cool. Anyway, we are starting off where we left off last time. If you remember there was some weird glitch with this place and yeah, it's just it's not good. And I was gonna buy a car, but honestly, I don't think I will. Because I'm not sure if you can save it, how you save it and all that. But if we check our inventory, we still have uh, gold, we still have cop. Ooh, god, I always, I hate that phone. That's the worst shortcut menu en e e ever. God, I can't English today. We've got copper, we've got gold, and we've got iron. And the iron uh, dealership is right over here. Another nice car by there. Damn. If that's, if that's just a normal person driving around, I'm going to steal their car. Because it's a muscle car, I want a muscle car, what can I say? You, give me your car. Give me your car. Give me your car! Get out of the vehicle! No one saw that, we're fine. This is nice, the Imponte, Imponte Dukes. Ooh, listen to that backfire, that is a nice ass car. Oh, don't crash. So, to sell the iron is somewhere around here. So let's get out, and... It should give us a prompt. I'm not sure if we have to be in work clothes. Okay, you know what? I'm going to assume that we have to be in work clothes. Because the copper didn't work, now the iron's not working. So, yeah, it must be something to do with the clothes we're in. God damn it. Go away, menu. Where's my mouse? I've lost my mouse. There it is. Yeah, we, we probably have to be in work clothes, which is a bit irritating. Because technically speaking, the gold is on us. Oh wow, there's a lot of Crown Vicks. They must have replaced the Stania with Crown Vicks or something. I thought that was like a custom car. But evidently not. Oh, go away. I hate that menu. Okay, one thing I will say about EDRP, as much as I enjoy it, and I have enjoyed it so far, some of the keyboard shortcuts and the controller shortcuts are quite irritating. Don't crash. That was reaction skills right there. So, we're meant to drive... Actually, that's a good point. We gotta drive like normal. <laughs> I've been blowing through red lights, thinking this is like normal GTA, but nope, it's not. Promise you, it's not. So we need to be in this lane. I'm pretty sure that was a green light. I'm just gonna turn my volume down, and we're going to get our work clothes. Because all I can assume is that we have to be in work clothes to sell. I mean, there's no other logical thing. Unless it's the vehicle. It could be the work vehicle. Wheel spin. Ooh. Ho -ho. Alright, change of plan. We're swapping cars. This Camaro, you, you're mine. Get out of the car. We've actually got ourselves a proper Camaro. Whoa. Oh, wow. Was that a player? I'm pretty sure I just stole a player's car. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm, that might have been an actual player. Oh crap, that's bad. I could probably get banned for that. Whoops. Right, I want to go somewhere. I want to drive this car around for a bit. Drift. Oh, whoa. Not quite as good a driving as John Wick or Dom Toretto or other driving peoples. But either way, I'm going to drive around there for a bit, and actually no, I'm going to go and get the work vehicle, and I will bring you back once I've done that. Right, okay guys, I'm afraid we're going to have to say goodbye to this amazing car, we've got a green light, because I'm about to uh, trade in for a dump truck, something I never thought I'd do. So let's just park this on the side, it's unlikely we're ever going to see this car again, not this specific one anyway. So it was nice knowing you, Chevy Camaro. But I'm afraid we've got some gold to sell, some money to make, and some diamonds! Actually, we haven't got a diamond, but you know. Right, LB, and we want workers' clothes. Oh, hello. And I want a dump truck. A security deposit of $2,000 has been taken from you. Yeah, I knew that. Eh, they could have made this a little bit more convenient to get out. Oh, train car. That's an odd place for a train car. And now, we need... Oh, we can only go right. And that's a stop sign. So now, I'm going to go back to the copper cellar. I remember where that is this time. And we're going to sell some copper. And I prefer inside view on trucks. So, 
I know some of y'all guys don't like it, but unfortunately I do because that's just how I drive. So, yeah, we're going to sell some copper, then we're going to go sell the uh, iron, and then we're going to go to somewhere we haven't been before, and we're going to go sell the gold, which is at uh, Vangelico's. I've robbed that store so many times, it's not even funny. That is an awesome sight. Like, the visuals they put in this game are really good. Like, look at that, with a control tower right in the middle. That is absolutely amazing. Is that actually the control tower? I'm trying to work out what that is. I don't think that is the control tower. But that is where the airport would be. I don't know, perhaps it is. It must be. I have no idea. But either way, we are here. We're coming to sell our gold now. And who the hell was honking then? Oh, I've missed the turn a little bit. Let's just back up. No one will notice. Don't worry, it's fine. And open. Right, if this doesn't work now, then I am completely out of ideas. I really don't know. So let's go over here. Yeah! Sell copper. How much are we going to make? We got... Ooh! It's given us 100 bucks for every piece of copper. I don't know how many we had. But look at the money climb. That is freaking awesome. 1600 We need to go to the bank after this. That's a definite otherwise. Uh, let me actually explain the cash due because I didn't really do it last episode. So the top one with a dollar icon, that is how much cash you have on you. So in my pocket right now, there is 2600 bucks, 27 and so on. The one below that, the blue credit card, that is how much is in my bank. Uh, that cannot be robbed from me, but I can take it out and spend it. So if you want to keep your money safe, put it in your, um, in your uh, bank. God, I couldn't speak then. And the red credit card, what's that? Well, that's dirty money. You get that from selling drugs, from um, basically all sorts of bad stuff. If you steal a car and sell it, that's your dirty money. And that is, is you can spend it like normal cash, but if you get pulled over by the police, they can search you, and if they find that, you will go to jail for that. And I think that's awesome. And holy crap, we've got $6,000 off this. And climbing, what? That is, a, that's extraordinary. I was not expecting that. 6500 I have no idea when this is going to stop. But yeah, something else cool about this community. You guys um, remember my sponsor, Into the AM? Well, another person who is sponsored by them is called Cadet Skittles. And I've streamed with her before. She's very nice. And she's like a legit YouTuber, Twitch streamer. She does all sorts. She is a member of this community. I believe she's on the whitelist, but I didn't know that. So that's awesome. I might um, try and do some collaborations with her in the future. But yeah, so I, I literally, I learned about this off uh, Jeff Faviano. We're out of copper, so we got eight and a half grand off that. But yeah, I learned about this community off uh, Jeff Favina Faviano. I couldn't say his name then. And as I was looking through the list of names of people who were part of the server, Cadet Skittles was on there. And that, that was surprising. She's never mentioned it to me, but... I oh, know, that's pretty cool. And I can see why she plays it. It's good. I'm not going to lie. I do like this game. Ooh, I need to stop <laughs> changing camera. I can't see where that Crown Vic is. Okay, I'm going to go to the camera I want, which is that one, and close that. But yeah, there's lots of um, people on here. It's very interesting. It is always good being part of the community. They were speeding and their truck is destroyed, so they've lost their security deposit. Oh, screw this guy. Like, legit, a truck is driving faster than a V8. That's just not right. Okay, that was real gunshots. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was definitely a real gunshot then. Okay, we'll just uh, casually ignore that. We got a green light. And we are on our way. We're just around the corner from selling our iron. And I don't know if iron's more or less valuable than copper, in real life or in the game. I genuinely don't know, that's quite interesting. Have you guys ever wondered why iron... Like, ironing is called iron. Do you guys know that? Why, like, you know when you iron stuff? Do you know why that's called iron? Something cool I learned in uh, primary school, surprisingly. It's the only thing they ever taught me, I'm sure of it. 
but it's because back in the good old days when everyone wore top hats and suits, irons were made of iron and you'd warm it up on like a fire or something like that and you'd iron with the iron and that's why they're called irons. That's literally the only piece of information I learned in primary school. And I didn't even learn that in primary school, I learned that on a school trip to St. Fagans, proper Welshy museum. But yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I ever learned in primary school. It was quite a cool trip though, we went to, a, there's like a mine near my house called Big Picks. I live in Wales, like near the valley, so mining was like a massive thing. And there's a thing called Big Pit and it's a mine and it's like stupidly deep and it took us about an hour to, oh my god, it's a cop car. Yeah, it took us about an hour to um, get to the bottom of it walking. It took forever. That is a genuine cock car based off um, Arizona State Patrol, I think. Oh well, doesn't matter. I am totally blocking the intersection. I can't back up. Well, I'm going through this red light then because I feel that that's less dangerous than blocking the off-ramp to a highway because people come up mowers really quick. I don't know if you've ever seen that in real life, but yeah, not good. And stop and clear so right on red sorry didn't mean to do that just ignore that and left into here now i'm going to assume it'll let us sell our iron as well it's interesting to see how much we make i want to see what the exchange rate is so if i get out here yeah and left bumper so it is uh 95 uh, yeah, $95 for iron. So yeah, not far off from copper, but I'm pretty sure we had more of it. So we're about to break the 10,000 barrier, the big 10k. And there we go. So we could afford to buy a car now. We've got $20,000. But honestly, I'm not planning on buying a car. I don't want to keep robbing them though. That, it sucks. And I don't want to have to buy a new car everything, every episode, because I don't know how to save them. I don't know, this leaves me in a bit of a predicament. Is he coming in here? I can't move unless I sell all the iron, but I'm pretty sure he's coming in here. Come pull me over. I want to get pulled over. I reckon that'll be a fun experience. I don't actually know how to talk to them, though. I don't think there is a voice chat. Well, there is, but it talks to everyone on the server. So I'm pretty sure we have to do it in Discord. But that's fine. I use Discord all the time. When I do uh, multiplayer, I record it through Discord, which is good, but it's also annoying because it's classed as my desktop audio, so I can't change the volume of them without changing the volume of the volume of the game. So yeah, it is pretty irritating. But other than that, yeah, I, I do like Discord. It's good to record with. <sighs> Just take a bit of my drink there. God, how much iron do we have? I, I, I'm scared to press anything in case it stops selling it. 204. Oh my god, we're going to hit $20,000. $20,000. That is crazy. $18,380 we got off that. Okay, let's get out of this animation. Come on, run. I love the way he just throws the clipboard over his shoulder. That's one of the best things ever. Right, now... Our last and final thing, how much gold do we have? 39, we're going to sell our 39 gold, and that is at Vangelico, so I will bring you back when I get there. Right guys, we're nearly at Vangelico's, and I learned something funny, the towing company in this game. Do you know what it's called? Do you know what it's called? Do you know what it's called? Camel towing! <laughs> get it? Because, yeah, everything is a double entendre in this game. Like literally everything. My favourite one is Prolapse, the energy bar, like the, the fitness thing, Prolapse, that's just, that, that, that's good, because I'm not going to explain that. Rob's liquor, because you rob liquor stores. There's pretty much everything, there's a joke to be found in everything, like the fashion community, Anorexia, yeah, or, no, sorry, the owner is called Anorex, yeah. <laughs> I think you would probably understand that one. If you don't, you're too young to be watching this video. And leave in my truck. Look, Skyver. Skyver, because I'm a workman, I'm lazy. Yeah. As I said, everything is a dirty joke when it comes to this game. Ooh. Ah, I thought that was going to be a really nice car then. It's just your average crane fit. Okay, I'm going to be responsible and not just park up on the pavement. What did I hit then? I hit something. Oh my god. 
This is going to be a tough one. Part. Okay, best way to do this, come out and straighten up, straighten up, and swing the front in and pull forwards. See? Okay. It's not obvious I got my driving test tomorrow, is it? I can't, I genuinely, I can't wait for that. God, my dude has a really itchy shoulder when he runs. Right, Vangelico's. I can't, please run fast. Oh, if you tap it, you don't hold your shoulder. Ah, I didn't know that. Ooh, learning something new every day. Ooh, there's a tree there. Alright, so I'm assuming you just go into... Yeah. Sorry, I'm just behind the counter. Ignore this. I promise I'm not robbing the place. Ooh. You don't have enough diamond. Uh, no, this is the diamond dealer. God damn it. I'm in the wrong place. That's the second time doing this job that I've gone to the wrong place. I am very bad at jobs. So, now we need to run back to our car. Ooh, itchy shoulder. Itchy shoulder. Yeah. And... So, where the hell do you sell the gold? Uh... That's a good question. Don't run me over. Gold is... Uh... Oh! At the bank. Ah, that's only right at the corner. Right, now get out of here. It's going to be a tricky one. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Don't hit them. And pull out. Ooh, that was easier than I thought. Right. Uh, don't... Ah, god damn you. So we need to go to the bank, because I'm a bloody idiot, as they say. It stop. Just, just made that light. That stopped in time. But yeah, we need to go to the bank. And once again, we're not robbing the place. We're just selling gold and taking money out and that stuff. But while I'm at the bank, I can put my money away. That's a very good idea. God, I hate waiting at traffic lights. It is like the worst thing in the world. Like, legit, sitting at traffic lights. I understand them, but god, they're irritating. We are right here now. The bank is just there on our left. Uh, well, it's on the corner. It's that big building on the corner there. Uh, we got the red light, they got the green. God damn it. We don't actually have that in the UK. Like, the two lights right next to each other. It's not very common anyway. Like, they usually have a separate light for the turn lane. But, well, if it works, it works. I'm pretty sure those trees are a mod up on that hill. Pretty sure. I don't know, I, I genuinely haven't played Grand Theft Auto for... Well, last time I played, I had mods, and that was before I wiped my C drive, which was in November. So, yeah, like, four or five months at least. And when I did play it, it was a modded version, so I can't even... I'm, I don't know what is a genuine thing and what's not anymore. Oh, we got a light. And go over right here. Uh, there's no way to park. Okay, I'm just going to pull up on the side like a responsible truck driver. And we are about to make the big bucks. I, at least I hope so. You know, you can take your earmuffs off now, dude. Like, you don't need them. It's not very loud here. We're on Hollywood Boulevard. I know, it's probably to stop all the annoying tourists. Uh, us to access the bank. Oh, should we rob the bank? Oh, that, I, I really want to rob the bank. That would be fun. Uh, where do we take... Ah, let's sell the gold. How much are we going to make? Uh, $220. That's not that bad. Oh, hello. Hello, you three, two. Ah, we're, we're all twins around here. We all work for the same company. Hi, Bob. That's Bob. It, we call him Bob because his number, 303, looks like Bob. And that is... Ben. Uh, that kind of looks like Ben. Buzz... Nah, let's just call him Bob and Ben. Hey Bob, hey Ben. Let, just, I'll ignore you a sec while I count my gold on my blank clipboard. Like, you could at least open it for the paper underneath, you know. We've got a lot of selling to do, but if we go into that magical red circle there, we can rob the bank, but I happen to know you get shot when you do that, so it's probably not advisable. Like, yeah, I really want to do it. Do I rob it? Do I? Don't I? Do I? Don't I? Maybe another time. Not today. We're being legit today. We are technically on the job, so we'll get fired if we rob a bank. We've got $26,960 altogether. That is freaking awesome. So, oh, no, no, that's just on us. That's on us. <laughs> We've got like 38 Th nearly $40,000 altogether. Right, let's go to the bank. I want to deposit 25... Oh, come on. 
Oh yeah, look at that. $36,864. That is how you do it. That's actually really awesome. I want to see if they're in their truck. Yeah, they are. So you do have to be in your job vehicle before you can sell stuff and stuff like that. So that's that's certainly good to know. So, uh, we got a server restart, so we're about to get kicked out in case you didn't see the chat. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to see if I can take my truck back. But chances are I won't have time. So if I don't, I will see you again. Make sure you come back for the next episode where we might rob a bank or we might do fishing. I don't know. I've not decided on that yet. So I will see you then. Peace out, guys. And there it is. Yep, we lost connection to the server. That is because the server restarted. So if you ever wonder what that's like, that is what a server restart looks like. And now I can't click the close button. Anyway, guys, see ya.